Well, guys, I got something of an oddity here. I, I really have no idea what this lock goes to. This was sent to me from uh, Arlington Lock over in Falls Church, Virginia. They sent me a, a, a several locks, but this is a kind of a weird one. I have no idea what this goes to. It's got this weird thing on the front, and it's got this, it appears to be plastic, this little clip thing that goes on the bottom of the keyway. It's probably ornamental. I really don't have a clue, but it definitely plastic. It's right there. Kind of got a large face to it. The cylinder obviously is still sealed, but it looks to be long enough for six pins. And then a little bit of a booby trap here on the back. There's no clip. So I don't have a key for it, unfortunately. But I got to be careful. If I can get it picked, I've got to remember not to yank it out or put any pressure on it with the tensioner because it will come right out. And of course, it'll vomit everything out. Uh, just like, you know, I'm so good at, that'd be like my insta-gutting system. Um, anyway, let me go ahead and clamp this up. Let's see if we can get this picked. And then I will try to gut it in somewhat, you know, kind of an organized manner. We'll, we'll see. All right, I think that's going to be free. Um, uh, if you take a look at the slot, I can probably use a, a giant screwdriver just to stick it in there. I could probably just stick them in there like that if I wanted to and just tension it. But I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go ahead and use a normal tensioner. Just, well, it's a lock picking channel, right? I'm going to take this guy pretty wide. I am going to stick him into the top of the keyway. I don't have to. I could actually turn them around backwards and tension it pretty much like that. But let's do it right. Okay, so that's what we're going to do. We're going to stick him in there. Let's try that. Um, pick. I'm going to use, I got plenty of keyway to work with. It is a little warded though. We've got some warding here and up at the top. So I'm going to use a 15,000. This is a, let's see, what is it? This is the V09 from Multipick. It's the DeForest ball or DeForest uh, half diamond. And let's see what we got. I'm going to apply moderate tension to see if I can find a binder. And I can tell right away this thing is like 100 years old. There's all kinds of goop in there. All right, I found a binder, pin 3. Nice click. And nothing else is binding. Let me go back to find pin 3 again. Maybe give him another click. I don't know. Nope, he's... Oh, there we go. That was a second click on him. Looking for another bind. There we go. It is pin five. Come on. I think it's pin five. Might be six. Little click. That was three. That was one. We're pushing that little clip out of the way there. That's probably what it is. It's a pick detector. All right, I got to be close because I felt a slight turn on that core, but I'm not getting any feedback from any of the pins. And there we go. I have no idea. It just might be crud. I didn't feel any security pins, but since we got it picked, let's go ahead and spew the guts out onto the bench here and take a look. See what we got. Okay. Let's get this guy over here. Get all that junk out of there. Um, let's go ahead and pull that little clip off just because we can. I'm going to try, see if I can to put my, ugh. I never seem to have the right size. All right, um, it shouldn't be too bad. So the pins are going to be right along this side. I'm going to, I am going to bridge it. My chances of screwing this up are probably 98%, but why ask for trouble? Wow, that's tight. There's really a tight tolerance in there. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to use him as a bridge just to hold him like that and see if we can not break anything. 
There we go. You know, I said this felt like a hundred years old, but in here it looks pretty clean. And these pins are color coded as if they've been pinned with a modern pinning kit. Look at the flange on that. All right, so there are six of them, so I was right on the guess. Let's dump these guys out. Let me move this down just a little bit. Nice and it is clean. Look at that. This has been repinned. I'm I'm 98% sure. Nothing weird on the core, no threading, no nothing. And inside, let's see if they repin both sides of it. Yep. And those are brand new springs as well. So that's one. No corrosion at all. Oh, okay. Let's push that back and pull that shim out. There we go. Yep. Standard. I bet it's all standard. Standard. Yep. Definitely not a challenge lock. That should be it. All new springs, too. So that gritty feeling was my imagination. Either that or my pick was dragging on that warding. I don't know. Anyway, there you go, guys. Straight from the archive from Arlington Lock over in Falls Church, Virginia. Guys, appreciate you sending this in. Oh, let me give you a close look at these pins. Nothing spectacular. No security pins. Anything like that. It's just the weirdness of the appearance, I guess, kind of had me, you know, freaked out. Anyway, guys, appreciate your time. Stay safe. Stay legal.